This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Buy one door a window and get one door a window for 40% off before July 31st. That's 40% off with $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest. Call 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com for more information. Some Verizon customers in Pennsylvania were hit by a nationwide outage yesterday. Meanwhile, public hearings on the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority's proposed rate hikes brought in some negative feedback. Another mall could go to sheriff sale. Lastly, a raccoon was caught hanging out in a baggage claim. I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. A nationwide Verizon wireless outage hit some customers in Pennsylvania yesterday, reports Lehigh Valley Live. Officials from the company explained how an issue caused some call failures for cell phone users and even some business landline numbers, all of which were resolved by around 10.14 in the morning. What caused the issue remains unconfirmed. Since they need to approve them, the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission held two public hearings this week on rate hikes proposed by the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority, reports Pittsburgh's Action News 4. The PWSA is looking to overhaul the city's water system, the biggest investment ever seen in the infrastructure, to replace 10,000 lines made with lead and to improve wastewater and stormwater treatment. In order to complete this overhaul, which costs an estimated billions of dollars, PWSA projects a water bill's increase of up to 22% during the next three years. Needless to say, most of the feedback during both hearings was negative. In the words of Representative Latasha Mays, quote, Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority investments in our water and sewer infrastructure are long overdue, but not on the backs of hardworking ratepayers who can barely afford to pay their water bills already. PUC commissioners have until February to either accept, reject, or modify the PWSA's proposal. Another mall may go to sheriff's sale, states PennLive. Just like the Colonial Park Mall in Lower Paxton Township before it, the Pittsburgh Mills Mall in Fraser Township could be up for sale if it doesn't pay its tax bills. The township filed a motion to take the property over earlier this month. Should the taxes remain unpaid, the sheriff's sale will be held on the morning of October 2nd. When one goes to baggage claim, one typically expects to see suitcases and other types of luggage, says Philly Voice. Certainly not a raccoon, which is what some people at Philadelphia International Airport spotted popping out of one baggage claim chute this week before it scampered off. Apparently, raccoons have been known to get into the airport from time to time since it's surrounded by fields. Plus, the John Hines National Wildlife Reserve isn't too far away. This one, according to PHL spokeswoman Heather Redfern, probably got lost in a baggage tunnel by accident. The airport works together with the USDA to set up humane traps to catch and release these raccoons. However, what happened to this one remains unconfirmed. Hopefully you got on a flight to Florida for a nice little vacation or something. That wraps up today's episode. For more Pennsylvania news and beyond, visit PennLive.com. And please remember to rate this podcast either Apple or Amazon and to leave us an honest review if you can. Thanks ahead of time. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll see you for Friday's episode of Today in a PA. This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Buy one door a window and get one door a window for 40% off before July 31st. That's 40% off with $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest. Call 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com for more information.